Hello there. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, here we go. Um, we we talked. We haven't really talked too much about it um, because you've been gone and I've been working. Yeah, schedules haven't met up. But, but uh, man, uh, I, I'm so bummed I didn't see it in the theater. Oh, that they, been they did our local our local theater did it, and and I've heard. Um, I'm not the only one that thinks this. You're not the only one that thinks this. I've heard multiple criticisms of the show. The one that I will agree with is that it's better binged. Um, yes. Much like, Bo much like Book of Boba Fett, I feel like these legacy characters like Boba Fett, Obi-Wan, Han Solo, and if, when they do the Lando one, um, they might want to think about just releasing them all. Yeah, or, and or, letting, two, or two at a or time. Or two at a time, um, because really Obi-Wan feels like either a really long four-hour movie or like a, a, a cliffhanger yeah. you know, style. And, and again, I... I'm one of the people who I definitely think Star Wars works better as a serial, but I think especially because Boba Fett and Obi-Wan were supposed to be movies yeah. and they kept some of that plot line, it, it was very frustrating and stilted getting into the show. Yeah. But once yeah. we got there, once we got to episodes four and five yeah. and six, yeah. oh my God, like yeah. it got well, so epic. And, and to, to that point, I mean, they, they dropped episode one and two, and obviously we've talked about episode one, two, and three on, on the show already. Mm -hmm. um, one and two were a little harder to get into. Once you got to three and the story started rolling, and Obi-Wan got off Tatooine, because mm -hmm. Tatooine is apparently a place that just sucks the life out of everything, um, it got really good. I really, really enjoyed the show. I desire more of it. I know, I know they're talking about doing more of it. I don't know how much they should do more of it, but I want it. Um, I think there's more stories to tell. Yeah, but um, but real real quick before yeah. we move on, um, I did read a thing where um, I don't remember if it was Kevin Feige talking about the Marvel shows or if it was um, someone at Disney saying that the Marvel shows and the Dis and the Star Wars shows are meant to be watched like movies. They're meant to be watched one and two, three and four, five and six. Yeah. that's how the story arc goes. You you get the first act, the second act, and the third act. Mm -hmm. So it almost seems like they should give us three hour long shows or release two at a time. If if they're right. gonna if they're gonna stage it. That exactly. Way. I, I think I think anybody anybody who, who who loves to edit could easily take Book of Boba Fett and Obi Wan and would, would do a I would do a different edit with the first two episodes yeah. of Obi Wan. Yeah. Maybe even the first three episodes. Because the first three episodes are basically like the the introduction of Obi Wan. Which we really the, don't the, need. The capture of Princess Leia. But I mean, but and again, that's the problem with yeah. these. That's why people are disappointed is we know that we need to, we need to explain some things about Obi-Wan yeah. that are expected. Yeah. Same thing with Boba Fett. We've got expected. How did he get out of the Sarlacc pit? How did, you know, yeah. what's Obi-Wan been doing in 10 years? So there is a slow burn to that. And I enjoy that. But I understand why people get impatient. And then, then it feels like they rush yeah. the first Obi-Wan a Vader encounter just because they know that's what everybody's going to be talking yeah, about. Yeah, they're, 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 they're but waiting then, for it and they have to get it out of, out of right. the way. But so once we got past episode three, I really felt like four and five and yeah. six felt like Star Wars more than almost anything else I've seen come out. Like it was, oh. it was a classic Star Wars romp. It was rescue the princess from the dark tower. Yeah. You know, it was, I mean, the well, stuff I with mean, Leia... <laughs> The stuff I, with Leia. I, I mean, I, come on. I mentioned it in the last show, and I, I don't remember the creator's name, uh, but I saw him on, on TikTok. He said that it very much felt like, since, since the Obi-Wan episodes were, were titled with Roman numerals, it very much felt like they were each show was a Star Wars movie, one through six. It was. So obviously when we get the four, five, and six, which we grew up on, those are our favorite episodes because we get A New Hope, we get Empire no, Strikes Back, No, he's spot on, he's spot on because episode one with Obi-Wan is we're yeah. watching, we're just, it's it's a guy in the desert. Yeah, it's it's a guy on the desert protecting a kid. We see, we see, we, yeah. there, there's a reference to episode the one with Luke, Luke yep. pretending to pod race, so from pod racing. Episode two is you know, is yeah. the the is, is a reference to the Clone Wars, a reference yeah. to like yeah. the, you know, Obi Wan sees the old clone trooper yeah. well, on the, the streets. The the princess gets kidnapped. Mm -hmm. You know, you must the, go re rescue the, the, the princess rescue. is in danger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the princess is getting herself out of danger, and she's an agent of her own story. And and yes, there there was it was a little bit stilted. That's why I think, um, 
you you could have spent a little more time, I think, in if there wasn't so much expectation on what we had to explain about Kenobi. Yeah, we could have spent more time and energy. I would have loved to see a better chase scene with yes. the the smugglers yeah. or the yeah. pirates capturing Princess Leia. I think there could have been a whole episode there, but I understand yeah. why they were yeah. reticent There's, to spend that yeah. time because everybody would have just been like, "But more Kenobi, but more yeah. more Kenobi." Yeah. When we actually the all the Kenobi we need and that we should have is what we got at the end. Yeah. Because the end of it with the face off with him and Anakin oh the face off is, is funny. so and and him raising the rocks and I mean the all the the easter eggs and yeah. the full circle stuff and really adding that weight to what yeah. we see in episode 4 is so key. Yeah. You you realize how how Obi-Wan defeats Vader at the end, right? Yeah. He has the high ground. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> But yes, he, 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 Vader will never learn. There's so, so many high ground memes, uh, oh, there isn't enough man, time to they, cover them um, on this show. They did such a great job. And people are going to complain that it's fan service, and people are going to complain that they didn't do enough fan service. But, but the story elements that they touch on this, with, with Vader saying, you didn't kill, kill Anakin, oh, chills, I did. Chills. That just mirrors the, you know, the, he's, you know, there was a young student, a student of mine, who betrayed and murdered your father. So it very much explains how Obi Wan explains it to Luke. They did yeah. a great dramatic job of, of covering that what, what yeah. other people like to you know clickbait call yeah. plot holes yeah. in Star Wars. But let's well, remember it's pulp. Yeah, and, well, and, they, and they show they show enough of that connection of Obi Wan has enough connection with Leia that she'll reach out to him for help when they need it with the plans. Mm -hmm. It shows that there's enough connection that Luke Skywalker knows who Ben Kenobi is enough to know that there's a weird old hermit named Ben Kenobi that, you know, um, those aren't plot holes. Those don't right. cause problems well, with and, the story. And these are different people. They literally are different people. And that's a big thing of what I like about Star Wars and kind of where I disagree with a lot of people on The Last Jedi being one of the better sequel movies is it's that if you, 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 you're in danger of disappointing yourself and being truly blind and letting your eyes deceive you, as they like to say, uh, as the Jedi like to say, by putting your heroes on a pedestal. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, when we meet Han Solo, he's not the hero. You know, he's, he's the hero we remember, yeah. but he wasn't a hero to Kylo no. Ren. He wasn't a great no. dad. No, he, you know, he, I mean, um, he shot Greedo right off the bat, depending Luke, on what... Yeah, <laughs> what which watch. version you watch. Um, we're, you know, we're, um, we, we can't put even Obi-Wan on a pedestal. Yeah. Nor qui or, nor Yoda, nor... Or Luke. Yeah. And that's really what I, I enjoy that they do that with these with, with these new movies and looking back because we do romanticize. We yeah. romanticize ourselves. We romanticize our memories about things. Yeah. You know, we've all we all could look back through rose-colored glasses and see yeah. a different version of ourselves. And so yes, the versions of Vader and Obi-Wan we see in A New Hope, that's not that's not Obi-Wan Kenobi. And the war Anakin, yeah. and Anakin yeah. from the prequels or the Clone Wars or anything like that. That is Darth Vader yeah. and Ben Kenobi. Yeah. They are, that, that, yeah. That's different versions. And so even this version doesn't line up with them. But to, to go back to Leia, like I, I, I want to talk more about Leia yeah. and getting to know Leia's story. Um, I would love to see a Leia show with yeah. uh, br bring back R2-D2 and C-3PO. Yeah. And have some adventures. That, I mean, if, if anybody from Disney is listening, please give me more Leia. Because I enjoyed yeah. that almost more than... Because that was unexpected. Yeah. Getting to see Leia's story, getting to see yeah. how she develops and getting to know more about this character yeah. who may be the most like under you know appreciated character yeah. in the Star Wars movies that I've always had a personal love for, Princess Leia. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, know, you, you mentioned it in the other episode... Um, where Doctor Strange isn't necessarily the hero of Multiverse of Madness. It's yes, America Chavez. Yes, yeah. the show is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, we're getting the Obi-Wan Kenobi story. The show is about Princess Leia. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, completely unexpected. I did not expect to get any Princess Leia content in this at all. I, expect, I expected to get just as much content with Princess Leia as we actually got with Luke. I, yep. thought, I thought Obi-Wan was going to show up and talk to Bail Organa, and there was going to be this little 10-year-old girl kind of hiding behind. Like a cameo. Yeah. Oh, here's Leia, and then back yeah. to Tatooine yeah. to deal with Luke. Yeah. And, and, and I love and that they went the other way. And it was completely different to do yeah. that. And I, I don't remember the actress's name. 
I should because I need to give her the justice because I didn't like her when we first got her. It took a while for, for her to grow on me, but just, just because she's a child actress and sometimes child actors are awkward. Um, but that's, that's nothing she against, did a good job. that's nothing against her acting. It's just kids deliver lines differently and they have different experience and, you know, coming at it, at it from an adult, you're like, oh, that's weird, but it's not. It's, it's well, a kid. And, and again, just like, yeah. just like Hayden great. Christensen, I loved it. just like Jake Lloyd, a yeah. lot of pressure to play a, a younger version, just like Alden yeah. Emmerich, yeah. Uh, a lot of pressure to play yeah. a legacy character. Not, not just, not just Alden for having to play Harrison Ford, but I mean, anybody playing a young, yeah. Like iconic well, well, character. Even, even Ewan McGregor. I mean, he's he's done plenty of interviews where he's like, it was really hard finding Obi Wan Kenobi that was not you, just an that impression. Was, that was not just an impression yeah. of Sir Alec Guinness. <clears throat> you know, um, and he was a grown man when he yeah. took on the mantle. Yeah. Like Hayden Christensen, much younger. Yeah. Um, which, Natalie which Portman. Which go back and watch the prequels and listen yeah. to Hayden Christensen. You can't tell me he is not doing a spot on impression. Of James Earl Jones as Darth Vader. Well, yes, and, and yes, I the, always thought, and the I always inflections yeah. there, but not the tone. And I always thought Jake Lloyd, who played young Anakin, yeah. got a uh, really bad uh, oh, uh, yeah. time from the fans. Yeah. Because I thought, because for a nine-year-old to capture, to basically, I mean, we, we think back. All Darth Vader was when they made those movies was a mechanical monster through yeah. everything you know of Star Wars yeah. until the final moments of Return of the Jedi yeah. when he's like this withered worm of a man who says like, I just want to see you with my mask <laughs> off to like Luke. That's all we get of him. That's I mean, so as an actor for a nine-year-old, yeah. I thought Jake Lloyd did a great job doing Young Vader. He got a raw deal from Star Wars well, fans he, and the media really, in general. He really did. I mean, um, they, they right all, up there with Ahmed Best and yeah. Jar Jar I mean, they, and all of they, them. They they all did. You know, the, and and the Star Wars fandom is is quite possibly one of the worst fandoms out there. Can be, yeah. But I mean, because it's embarrassed to call myself a Star Wars cause, fan cause sometimes. Because they're they're consistently yelling for better writing and better directing and better action scenes. It's Star Wars. Go back and watch Episode Four. Yeah. It's not. Great, well, it's but like it is one of my, our, what is, yeah. but it is epic, and it's amazing. Yeah. And, it is, and, and as it. one of our friends says, who has lots of criticisms about Star Wars, when we talk about it, you know, in our friend groups, um, says, you know, and and he has a lot of problems and yeah. criticisms yeah. of it, but he still says it's a miracle we have it. Yeah, let's appreciate it. And yeah, we 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 can nitpick at little things. Yeah. That's fine, but still enjoy it and yeah. have fun with it. Yeah. And that's that's what ultimately we you got. So for all the nitpicking and all the. Um, you know, the, 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 the really harsh, you know, um, small criticisms that people had of Obi-Wan. Ultimately, yeah. what is everybody talking about now? Yeah. They're talking about the red face, yeah. the blue face, yeah. the you didn't kill Anakin, I did. Yeah. Which I just get goose pimples oh, every time I, I talk about so, it. So, so amazing. I mean, it, it, honestly, the show gave me everything that I ever could have possibly wanted. Right in an interim story because that's what this is this is a this is a rogue one this is a, right this is something that you know had disney bought not bought star wars would have been a novel right or a comic book mm -hmm. it would have existed that it, it would have had to have existed in our own imaginations well and i'm glad you brought up rogue one because that leads us into where i wanted to go with this conversation after talking about obi-wan which is i'm really excited for andor oh I my wasn't, god i wasn't excited for andor at first the, but Obi now obi-wan set me up for but now having yeah. gotten obi-wan which is a lot of expectation a lot of fan service a lot of what we know we know we don't know anything about andor other than it's the beginning of the rebellion right and we're so, gonna get him on mothma right we're probably gonna see more bail organa but what i'm most excited about it Are we is that more leia is that yeah i'm, I'm but, I, but all that aside all the all the legacy stuff that see you're 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 playing the the star wars fandom at large i, I am and i yeah. want to know but and it's going to i'm going to let it be whatever it's right. going to be right so so i'm going to i'm going to tell you to shut up and let let star wars let the people be creative because no none of the things <laughs> that you just said are what i'm excited about for andor what i'm excited about for andor is not Bail Organa, is not Princess Leia, is not Mon Mothma, is not any of that. What I'm excited about is what we don't know, yeah. what's not expected. Yeah. Yeah, this... We're expecting all those things. That's yeah. what the Star Wars fans expect, and then they're disappointed yeah. when they don't get. What I'm excited for, just like with the Marvel stuff, like I'm liking 
I'm liking Miss Marvel, I'm liking Moon Knight, and I'm liking them because I don't know anything about yeah. them. Yeah. Like, so Andor it can be fresh. It can, like, the trailer, I have no idea oh, what's going yeah. on there. No, I was gonna, there's this yeah. guy, he's banging a bell. There's, there's the, the, the yeah. Imperial people are coming. Yeah. I don't know any of them. Yeah. So there's not gonna, I'm not gonna have to weather this, frankly, this bullshit that I see online about third sister, yeah. about whatever, because it's not right. It's not, yeah. he doesn't look like he did in the Clone Wars yeah. cartoon. Yeah. I'm sick of that <laughs> stuff. I really am. And it all, unfortunately, Instead of us just going, okay, this is an interpretation of yeah. here's the Grand Inquisitor in live action. Yeah. Here is now, or or I don't like the way his Bane's hat's not, his teeth aren't right. Like, shut yeah. up. Yeah. Like, yeah. and that's do and you that, want him? Do you want him or not? And and that's what Cassian Andor and the Andor show frees us from. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gives us the opportunity for me to enjoy a Star Wars story that isn't beholden to Princess Leia, Mon Mothma. You know, Bail yeah, Organa, yeah. any of the stuff we know, yeah. this can just be its own story yeah. that happens to be set in the Star Wars yeah. universe. Same, well, same reason I'm excited for Acolyte, yeah. to be well, honest and, with you. Know, and I was going to bring that up, and you, you definitely talked on the topics that I was going to bring up, because the trailer is, gives us nothing but pure Star Wars. It doesn't really tell us the story right. going on, other than it's, it's Cassie and Andor dealing with a growing rebellion. The one thing that I hope they don't do, I hope they take a solo lesson from this. Right. Because to your point, there's things that they shouldn't feel beholden to. And if the one thing that they feel beholden to is showing Cassie Andor meet K2SO, I hope they don't do that in this show. Right. As and much I'm, as I want K2SO. Me too. I'm bummed when I heard that, that Alan Tudyk and K2SO wasn't just going to be part of it. Yeah. I was bummed. And that's why I wasn't excited about Andor. But now I'm kind of excited about it, except that I, I'm expecting that. Yeah. Yeah. Know? Yeah. We're, we're going to get that in like episode, you know, five, or it'll be a post credit scene of episode six or something. I just, I don't need to see it. I don't, you know, it's, it's the same, the same weirdness for me watching... 10-year-old Anakin Skywalker build C-3PO. Yes, I know that's the story. I get it. It's just, like, I don't need to see that. Right. Um, do I want K2SO? Yes, I want, I want all of the K2SO. I loved K2SO. He's by far possibly my favorite Star Wars Well, and when, you're, when, when you're playing Star Wars Bingo and you're checking off the things that make something Star Wars, yeah. an interaction with a droid yeah. is key. I yeah. mean, that's, it's, all, uh, it's in all of the yeah. iconic imagery from Star Wars. There's Leia kneeling in front of R2-D2. Yeah. There's Luke watching Princess Leia's hologram yeah. off of R2-D2. Yeah. There's, you know, the, the, There's... The, the banter, which, which holds up the first 20 minutes of Episode Four, the very yeah. first Star Wars ever, is two old droids arguing like a married yeah. couple. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean, we get it with the loader droid in Obi-Wan uh, and, and the Lola droid, which is honestly one of the cutest Star Wars great, things they've come out droid. with. Um, and know, we get that from Fallen Order, right? That's similar to like a little personal shoulder yeah, droid. Yeah, because it's, it's the, the little BD-1 unit that everyone loves that showed up in, in Boba Fett. Right. Um, you know, we, we get it in um, Rogue One with K2SO. We, we got it in Solo with, with L2. Yeah. Um, Who stole the L3. L3. Stole the show. Which, which honestly, show. like, if you if you want to tell me any anything that makes Star Wars Star Wars, it's not the blasters, it's not the hyperspace, it's not right. the Jedi, it, it comes down to the droids. Yeah. Yeah, you need, you, need, you, you, need, you need a few things to make Star Wars happen, and one of them definitely is droids. Because you can do Star Wars without lightsabers. It's someone from a podunk rural area... With a droid yeah. who ends up with a magic ship or sword or yeah. suit of armor. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there, there's certain check marks. And, but definitely having a droid, a, a companion, yeah. is one of them. Um, but, and so that's why I honestly, again, sort of falling into that trope that I was yelling at you about and other Star Wars fans about, is I was like, but I don't want Andor without K2SO. Yeah. So they, I think they made the right decision either have K2SO from the beginning or don't have K2SO yeah. at all. Yeah. You know, it'd be crazy. Because I'm, I'm, as I'm sitting here thinking about that, and you're like, yeah, that's absolutely right. There has to be a droid in the show, and we're probably going to get an amazing new droid because marketing. Um, <laughs> right. but, but we're dealing with the Rebellion. We're dealing with Bail Organa. We're dealing with Mon Mothma. How cool would it be to get a scene where Andor interacts with R2-D2? 
Yeah. Just, just real briefly. It doesn't have to be anything. Well, big, it's like but, the Mandalorian when yeah. you know you have the R two Mandalorian scene when he's you know waiting for Luke and yeah. like R two just shuts down on him. Yeah. Like, great. But it was again, it was earned. Yeah. And it wasn't tossed in. I mean, that's yeah. we saw we saw that in we, yeah. we saw that in Mandalorian season three, yeah. aka Book of Boba Fett. Yeah. <laughs> aka two episodes of Book of Boba Book, Fett. Book of Mandalorian. Right. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm I'm excited for yeah. Andor. Um, loved Obi Wan. If they do a second season, I think there's there's plenty of story left um, for uh, you know th- there's plenty of story left for Obi Wan Kenobi. There's plenty of story for for um, Owen and Beru. Yeah. Oh my who I, god! I really like, we, I don't think Dude, we that, talked that enough gives, about um, yeah, Owen and Beru. We have to the big ups to Owen and Beru. They this show gave them so much more character. And than, Beru is Beru is the one wearing dude, the pants in the dude, family. She's a badass. Like Beru, yeah, she, Owen's she, just she, like I just want to sit here and drink my blue milk and like. <laughs> And Beru's <laughs> like, we're taking down the patriarchy. Well, well, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it at first, and I had to go back and rewatch that last episode. Owen doesn't know about the blaster stuff. No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't know no, about it. Doesn't. Like she just starts pulling stuff out of this thing, and Owen's looking at her like, "What are you doing?" And she's like, "We knew this day would come. Yeah. Here, take this blaster." <laughs> and he's like, "Where did you even have these?" And she's like, "Take. We're, we're defending yeah. the farm, yeah. Owen. Yeah. Move it. You yeah. know." Yeah. I love that scene. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. That was a great um, turn on. Yeah. You know. Now she. So, so, <laughs> and when it, and it goes to it actually fits. People might think again, oh, Star Wars is being woke, but go to Episode Four. Baru is the one who's uh, Owen's getting all loopy and well, no, I, I just blah 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 blah, and yeah. she's like, Owen, yeah. we gotta not, we gotta stay hidden. Owen, we gotta, yeah. Owen, he's not a farmer. Yeah, she says. Yeah. She yeah. says, Owen, yeah. he's not a farmer. Yeah, he's he's he you has know, too much of his father. And he says yeah. that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she's she's still that character. Yeah. It's obviously. Owen might be the one yelling. Yeah, Baru, Baru would be off and joining barking. the rebellion. And, yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. Baru the whole time has been like, hey, but, yeah. you know. It's, it's funny. I saw a little comic online yesterday that um, it's Owen and Baru standing arm in arm at the entrance to their homestead with the two burnt corpses <laughs> at the beginning of it. And, and it's, it's, I don't remember which one's saying which, but they're like, oh, I can't believe Luke just showed up and, and ran and assume, off. And assumed we were Ran dead. off when yeah. he saw the bodies because yeah. we totally... We totally killed these stormtroopers, and, and Luke just left, and now we don't know where he is. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, whether or not we get a second season, like you said, there is plenty of material to plumb from. We have a not dead third sister that can go off and kind of live in in this fallen order area where she's now looking out for for right. The that, Jedi that leads instead into of, the, instead the of fallen order them. video game, Calcestis, yeah, it, which it, you know, Obi just... Obi Wan can obviously have more. To deal with, you know, remotely dealing with the rebellion. Well, because the or, Fallen Order video game, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, it's close. canon, right? I mean, it's considered canon, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I mean, Cal yeah. Cestus is out there yeah. among. He's not a Jedi, yeah. but he's a well, trained force I mean, he is, he is as Jedi as, as the. Third well, I mean, sister. but going going back to what Yoda says, when gone am I the last of the Jedi? Will you be right. the last of like the classically trained yeah. by a Jedi? Well, Jedi, not just he was a Padawan. That but he, survived Order 66. Is not a full now, Jedi. granted, that's not a this certain not point of view. Um, but <laughs> well, yeah. they go into it in episode two because Anakin says, "Well, you're not a you know." Yeah. Well, actually, Padme gives Anakin yeah. crap yeah. about it. She's like, "Well, you're not a real Jedi. You're yeah. just a pot of one." Yeah, yeah. 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 But um, I mean, we we could ramble about Obi Wan forever. There's things that are rattling around in the back of my head that I'm like, I gotta I gotta talk about this, but well, we're not I, going oh, to. oh yeah. So so the last thing I do want to talk about, I don't I haven't I don't know if anybody else has brought this up online. But so a little bit of baloney. I think if you were to match up their training fight flashback mm-hmm. from the Obi Wan Kenobi show, mm-hmm. it's almost choreographed, like move by move, to the end fight the scene duel. we see in Episode Three. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure they're training. Like that's what they're go- they're going through in the the the, yeah. the 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 epic lightsaber fight. The final duel, the duel of the duel um, of the fates. The du- well, not the duel of the fates. I think it's called. <laughs> it's the duel. The, of the, no, it's yeah. the, the battle yeah. of good and evil. Yeah. Yeah. The John, the John yeah. Williams score. The yeah. the very final fight when Anakin becomes Vader for real when Obi Wan strikes him down. You know, because he has the high yeah. ground. Um, I believe that whole. If you took pieces of that choreographed fight in Obi Wan the show. You match it up to that fight. They they use the same moves on each other. I'll have to go back and watch that. And to the point where remember when um, Obi Wan uses that trick where he pulls the lightsaber uh-huh. away from Anakin when it's behind his back after he does the move. I'm pretty sure a similar uh-huh. thing happened in Episode Three when they're fighting in the control room. That's interesting. I'll have to go and watch um, that. 
And so I think that there's a mirror there. There's a, there's hidden meaning there for them to to do it to yeah. do, use the choreography like that because they were just going. Through, they had been practicing that fight against oh, yeah. each other yeah. for their Ever. entire. I mean, yeah. that's that's what they if, were. If there's one thing that they harder, didn't know yeah. they were training for that yeah. final duel, yeah. but they were. Yeah. If there's if there's one thing that's harder to do, it's to win a battle against someone that you've trained with for the entirety of yeah. of your life. And so I haven't seen anybody bring that particular thing up, but. Um, if I had the time to sit and, and edit that together, yeah. I'll bet you if I did, yeah. just like just like where people noticed a similarity in The Mandalorian when Luke comes down and he's yeah. taking down those battle droids yeah. down, very similar to Vader going down the yeah. hallway taking down the troopers at yeah. the end of Rogue One. Yeah. So, so if that's one, my little bit of baloney to <laughs> so, throw. So if there's one last thing, I want to I want to throw some baloney too. Okay. One last thing I want to talk about, and I'm not going to talk about it for long because it's it's absolutely, you know, headcanon. Crazy theory time. Um, headcanon time. So, no one dies in Star Wars unless they want to. <laughs> yeah, Han Solo's ready to die. Han Solo gets stabbed in, in the Qui Gon's stomach. tired. You have and, to be and, tired. And, and, take, and takes a header off the bridge. You basically just have to be tired. Qui, Qui Gon pulls an Obi Wan. <laughs> Qui Gon didn't have to die there. He didn't have to. But yeah. he but he looks back at Obi Wan right. and goes, You have to train the So boy. we're referencing and, all the memes where yeah. it's like like impaled, cut yeah. in half, yeah. like everything lives. Yeah. Mom, so yeah. So that means if Mace Windu, as long as Mace Windu wasn't just tired yeah. of all the motherfucking bullshit. Yeah. And, and didn't pull a Padme and just lose and the will just, to just live. Just lose the will to live. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's the only, you're, you're absolutely right. The only way you die in Star Wars is if you're just it's tired to give up of the this, ghost. If you're just tired. You literally give up the ghost. Yeah. Like the Emperor was just tired and was like, yeah, throw me over the ledge. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Well, he didn't, he didn't die. He didn't die. He didn't die. <laughs> Vader dies. Obi-Wan dies. Qui-Gon dies. Han Solo dies. All, and Padme dies. All because they choose to. That's that's why Luke's like, Father, I can save you, and he's like, No, no I'm tired. It's too which, late for which, me now. Which we're both dads, yeah. so so, yeah. so <laughs> totally something you can feel yeah. very yeah. very deep. That yeah. you're like, No, I'm I'm just I'm dead. Yeah. I think I tried that on my daughter this morning, <laughs> and she said I couldn't die. She's I wasn't allowed. So so anyway, I mean to, to wrap this up, Star Wars coming down the pike. You, you mentioned Acolyte. We got Andor coming out. Um, they announced a second season. They're starting the second season of um, uh, the animated show. Um, oh, Visions. Visions. Which they're going to continue uh, one of my favorite oh, things my from it. They're going to yeah. continue the... Um, the Ronin. The Ronin. Yeah. And there, there's a book. The, there's the, a, the Dark Side yeah. Sith Hunter. Yeah, and there's, there's yeah. a book uh, for the Ronin out. So obviously... That's why you're collecting red crystals from Galaxy's Edge, isn't it? You think you're a Ronin? <laughs> um, All right, well, we'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Uh, wrap up of Miss Marvel coming, Thor, Love of Thunder coming down the pipe. We'll try to get more regular now that we're both back in town. But that um, won't happen. But thanks, we'll try. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you next time. All right.